Definitely excited to, to kick off this season this Saturday. Um, you know, I think uh, our players, our staff, we put in a lot of hard work, just like every team across the country, to get ready to have a hopefully exciting and successful season. And um, there's been a lot of preparation, a lot of work put into it, but it's still about going out there and performing, putting it all together, being able to execute and do things uh, efficiently uh, throughout an entire game and find ways to win in the fourth quarter. So, you know, I'm excited to see our team compete and play. I think it's important that, you know, we continue to, you know, preach play hard and play tough and play smart and play to the end and uh, continue to find ways to get better. Uh, but I do think that uh, our guys are uh, very eager to get on the field and play against an opponent. And uh, we welcome Oregon State uh, this weekend. Uh, who had a, you know, very, very good the year last year as far as being very competitive in every game. Uh, they had a big win against the top 25 team and, and uh, against Oregon. Uh, they were in pretty much all the other games. Only one game, I think, was uh, by double-digit loss. Uh, so they had a chance to compete and win to the end. When you watch them play, they play hard. Uh, they play tough. They play to the end. And they're going to come in here one, one to get a, a, a W. Uh, so I think getting back in front of our stadium, in our state, in front of our fans, it will be exciting for our players, exciting for all the Purdue fans, and we want to try to go out and uh, execute, play hard, nose, tough physical football, uh, and, and play the game the way it's supposed to be played, and that is competing at the very end. So, uh, you know, this Saturday at 7, we'll be ready to kick it off. Okay, we'll open up for questions here in the room. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Good not to be on a Zoom call. Uh, just your level of excitement for this season. You, you know, last year with COVID and everything, it kind of had a cloud over, you know, just getting things going in that year. But do you are you back to maybe where you were when you first got here? Is your excitement level and your energy level, and you know, as the kids say, do you have that juice to ready hope to ready get ready to open the season? Yeah, I, I really feel that uh, myself, uh, our staff right now, our players. You put in all this work all year long, you dedicate uh, you know, a lot of your life to find ways to improve and get better and win football games. Uh, there's no reason not to go out there and, and be excited, uh, lay, it, lay it all on the line, cut it loose each and every week, um, you know, play free, uh, you know, want to make plays, want to be aggressive, uh, want to go for the win. And then when the game's over, you move on to the next one. And uh, without question, throughout the course of the season, you hope to have a lot of high moments, but there are going to be some moments that aren't as good. You've got to be able uh, to handle those, uh, the adverse situations, to be tough, uh, to be strong-willed, um, you know, to believe in yourself and, and, and the preparation that you put in and uh, understand that that's football. I mean, every every week, everyone believes they're going to win, which they should, but half the teams win, half the teams lose. So you've got to be tough enough to handle the wins correctly, but also handle the losses correctly and, and, and come back the next week and find ways to improve, but I am excited for our players. I think they've worked extremely hard. Um, they've given us everything they have up until this point, and I know they want to get out on, on the game field and, and, and try to prove that. Just uh, your offensive line depth going into this opener, uh, I mean, how many do you anticipate uh, getting into the game Saturday? Well, depth is a little bit of a concern, but uh, every year you're going to have some form or fashion of that at uh, different positions. Um, I feel like our, our line has improved to this point. Um, you know, not to you get in a real game where you'd be able to tell 100% for sure, but I think they've worked hard, they've been physical, uh, you know, they understand what we're trying to do. Um, you know, probably six or seven guys is what you'll see in the rotation right now, uh, unless some injuries happen along the way. And then we'll continue to try to build that. And uh, I do think we have some very young linemen that uh, are making progress. And will they be ready game one? We would prefer not to throw them in the fire then, but uh, if we have to, we will. Will Cam Craig be available? Cam Craig uh, has come back uh, this week. Uh, he's been nicked up a little bit, but uh, we'll try to get a full week of practice in with him and get him out on the game field. Just with your receivers, you know, obviously David Bell is the, the highlight guy there, but just when you get past David Bell, maybe Milton Wright, How's the rest of that kind of receiver rotation? Uh, how will that shake out on Saturday? Well, we like our receiver room. I think they've competed well. They've played hard. They've shown that they can make plays in scrimmage situations, which is important because you got to do that. That's the closest thing you can get to a game. Uh, 
So I think when you look at uh, David Bell, Milton Wright, and, and then uh, you get to um, Jackson Anthrop, who's uh, been a steady performer for us, and TJ Sheffield, and Rashad Rice, and Brock Thompson, um, uh, and then even, you know, we've got guys beyond them, and, and Colin Sullivan, Abdoor. Um, so we want to try to play as many as we can, but at the same time, you know, our best players are going to play the most, and uh, we'll, we'll adjust along the way. But I think the receiver position is one of our deeper positions, and we feel confident whoever we put in uh, will do a good job. Uh, have you decided captain, Jeff? We'll decide captains as we get to the end of the week, um, and uh, you know that'll be something that uh, um, yeah, every week you know there's a good chance we'll, we'll change that up. Uh, just uh, two guys that were limited in camp uh, is, is Marvin Grant and Jamari Brown. Will they be part of what you do this week? Okay, so uh, Marvin Grant uh, has been practicing with us. Um, and he's a physical player uh, that still has some youth, so the more he practices, the better he's going to get. And I think when he knows what to do uh, and, and he's can be the quarterback and understand exactly what's going on, he can play very well. And he's just got to make sure that, you know, Mentally, he, he's, he's locked in and focused, but he has a ton of talent, and uh, he's back healthy. Jamari Brown is back practicing as well. Uh, we anticipate him playing um, right now. He's, he's um, you know, in the mix behind Corey Trice and uh, Dedrick Mackey, uh, but uh, he's done some good things, but we've got to get him just continue to understand exactly what we're doing and be on the same page. And there can be no mental bust, but uh, he, he does have talent and length, so we like the, what he brings to the room. Um, so, you know, we're getting guys back on that side of the ball. Is Marvin here, Mark, to start? Uh, probably so, yes. Um, you talked about a little bit, and, you know, Marty Biagi you talked about just getting, maybe using more starters on special teams, kind of as you look at this week and kind of where you at with the balance there of your starters and using other guys on coverage units. Well, we want to be aggressive to start the season and use uh, who we need to use on special teams. So yes, there are more starters on that on those units, and uh, we want to continue to do that. Sure, you have to have a little bit of a balance of uh, making sure your very best players are healthy throughout the year, but we want to uh, excel in special teams. So we have uh, opened up uh, the full can on that, and uh, anybody that we need uh, to help us uh, do well in special teams, that's, that's what we're going to use. Is where you at on uh, your vaccination percentage going into the opener? You know what, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're probably 95% or, or above. Uh, so there's still just a few, but other than that, we've got a very, very high percentage of players and staff. All right. Um, I'm good. Uh, I'm before him. Hey, Jeff, you, uh, Kind of give us a sense, maybe the impact you expect these transfers to have for you. Beginning Saturday night, you got like six on defense, offense, special teams. I mean, you're gonna probably need these guys to, to do a lot for you. I think. Well, I hope the impact the transfers have are, are great, and uh, you know, we we feel like they're definitely gonna be a, a good majority of those guys in the mix right off the bat. Uh, even the ones that may not be starting will play, and we think can play effectively for us. So I think. You know, of all the transfers we've brought in, um, all of them are going to see action. And all of them, I think, can help us. So I think that uh, we've been fortunate to address some needs. And I, and I think uh, what we've done uh, in bringing those guys in have helped our team to this point. And obviously, it's got to carry over the games. Can you give us any sense on the likelihood of any true freshmen playing a role Saturday night? Um, I wouldn't anticipate many true freshmen playing at all. What about the return game? Um, can you give us a sense maybe who's been working running back punts and kickoffs? Uh, right now, TJ Sheffield uh, has the most experience. Um, Jackson Anthrop uh, behind him as well. Uh, Marcellus Moore is back healthy. He gives us someone back there as well. Um, you know, we, we do have a, um, a couple running backs backing up that. I don't anticipate that happening. Um, Dedrick Mackey. He's backing up. I don't anticipate him getting in. And then uh, of youngsters, Jaquez Cross is someone that I don't anticipate uh, right off the bat, but it wouldn't shock me if at some point uh, he gets in. He's, he's done a good job for us. You, you've talked a lot about wanting to be aggressive on both sides of the ball. Can you give us a sense on what that would look like offensively and defensively? 
Well, I hope it makes us look better, and uh, that's the approach we want to take this year. And uh, we had a good practice last night under the lights on the game field, trying to simulate some game conditions, um, getting lined up, people being off the field, communication, making calls. Um, you know, to this point, um, you know, our defense, uh, the one scrimmage where we weren't up to par, has done a really good job. And we guarded things tighter. We've uh, been more aggressive in our approach. I think we have um, a lot of guys on that side ball that have played. So the rotation that we could have um, does have some depth. And uh, yes, the secondary is a little thinner, but we've got to continue to progress the other ones behind them. But at linebacker and, and, and defensive line, we, we, we will have the ability to rotate a little bit and make sure that uh, we're keeping guys fresh. But I anticipate them playing well, and I think they've gained some confidence throughout spring and summer and fall camp, and now they've got to carry it over to the game, and they've got to keep that confidence no matter if we're up by 14 or down by 21, and that's what you got to just make sure of is our guys understand that you know, every game something new and different is going to happen. You've got to be able to handle it and react. It. But, uh, but I anticipate our defense playing well. Of course, on offense, we always want to be aggressive, but we do want to have some balance, and we do want to be physical in our approach, and we do want to be able to run the ball downhill and hit some play action off of it. So, you know, taking care of the football, being efficient, avoiding negative plays, creating a few big plays throughout the course of um, getting chunks of positive yardage will be important. And you always want to win your opening game. Uh, can you just talk about just the urgency of your, or, or what it means to get off on the right foot? You guys did it last year, obviously, against Iowa. I mean, a great opportunity here, and you want to do it from your, from your home fans. Well, obviously, the momentum is always good to have if you can figure out a way to win the first game. And, and uh, without question, we want to do that. It's at home. We want to try to win all of our home games. And uh, it starts with Oregon State. So yes, we want to win. And, put a lot of work into it and we want to go out and try to find a way to win. With that said, like every year, it's a one-game season and uh, we've had some years around here we haven't won the first game that we played well and last year we, we won the first two games and didn't play so well. So you've got to be able to uh, maintain that hunger throughout the season and while game one is important without question and we're going to do everything we can to win it, there's, a, there's, there's 12 full games in this season so we've got to you know, and we've tried, we talked about a lot, we prepared, we've got to understand that, you know, win or lose, you've got to be tough enough to move on to the next game, regardless of how good you played, which you can sometimes let your foot off the gas, or how bad you possibly have played, where you sometimes start to second guess and doubt and <clears throat> listen to a few naysayers. So it's important that our guys understand that. We talk about it, we communicate it, and we always hope things go extremely well, but uh, winning game one is going to be. Uh, priority right now, and we're going to do everything we can to do that. Coach, what uh, challenges does Oregon State present in, from a schematic standpoint offensively and de defensively? I mean, they've, they've got a number of different guys at quarterback. It's a little bit uncertain who's going to start, but what do you look at when you see them on film? Well, when you watch Oregon State, you can tell that uh, they're a hungry football team. They're out to prove themselves as well. Uh, they want to make a, a name for their program and continue to uh, improve. Um, you know, being Oregon, they were in the top 25, it was big for them. Uh, they were competitive in almost every game to the very end and had a chance to win. So we're going to have to play well. You know, they want to run the football, they want to control the ball, they want to be physical in their approach, they want to play, you know, sound defense. Their defensive coordinator has a Wisconsin background, so they do some things very similar to that, uh, which Wisconsin has always been great on that side of the ball, especially here recently. Uh, so, you know, we've got to play well and we've got to, do the small things while we continue to try to create plays. We've got to win the special teams battle, but you know they're going to fight to the end. When you watch on video, you know throughout the entire game they play to the very end. So our guys need to understand that and need to know that uh, you know it's going to be a, a full 60-minute game that we've got to you know hang in there and play as hard as well as we can throughout the entire game. Coach, uh, still a full week of practice, obviously, before you step out on the field. Just uh, what are some boxes you're really looking to kind of check? Uh, just through this week of practice, and how do you, you know, maintain the intensity and the focus leading up to the game? Well, we've had uh, a good camp. Uh, we had a good practice last night that uh, I think was very beneficial. You know, as you get closer to game one, you want to make sure certain guys get to the game healthy and that you have a, a full arsenal as you possibly can, so that will be important as we continue to, to push the envelope and get better. So 
you know, now we, we put in a lot of work. Uh, we've got to continue to just put in the weekly preparation for the opponent and, uh, you know, get our guys healthy in the game and get them, get them going out there playing hard and confident uh, for all 60 minutes. Okay, are there any more questions here in the room? Yeah, Brian. Okay, Brian. Jeff, where's your defense right now in terms of where you want to see it, and how's it going to look different from what you had at the end of last season, you feel like? Well, I think our defense uh, has experience. A lot of guys mm -hmm. that have played football that have been on the field. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, there's not a whole lot of newcomers in the starting unit um, other than maybe a transfer to. So I feel like they've, they've been in a lot of battles. Uh, They've gone through some adverse situations. Um, you know, we've challenged them to challenge things more and play more aggressive and take more chances in both our approach, but yet in their technique and fundamentals. And we've seen good sides of it at times. So now it's a matter of um, you know, getting out on the game field and carrying that over, which is always important. And we hope that it, it, it comes through that way. And sometimes it may turn out great sometimes, maybe maybe not. You've got to be able to bounce back. But I, I like uh, how they practice, and uh, you know, I think they understand what we're going to try to do and, and, and how to do it. And you know, really defense is about playing hard, flying fly to the football, finishing plays, creating turnovers, creating havoc, getting after the quarterback. Um, you know, that's what we got to try to do. You've mentioned before being more personally involved with it yourself. What has that looked like here the last couple of months? Is that sitting in on more meetings? Is that spending more time in the practice field with them? How, how has that kind of been? Well, it's, it's been uh, fun. I think we got a great group of coaches. Uh, I think we're on the same page. Uh, there's been a ton of communication, <clears throat> excuse me, way back to postseason, through mm -hmm. the spring, summer, until now. I think we, we understand what we want to try to look like. Um, you know, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in the film room with them and, and just point out a few things that I see. And, and uh, but the communication has been good. Uh, they're great to work with. I think we got a you know collaborative approach where everyone understands that you know we all take responsibility for our actions. We got to put the best plan together to, for our players to succeed and go out there and, and compete and have a good chance at that. We got to be able to adjust along the way. We've got to have a little bit of creativity. Uh, you know, when we need to, uh, but we got to stay together and, and, and figure, a way to, figure out a way to get it done. And, and every week uh, you know, will be a new challenge, and uh, we've got to be able to hang in there ourselves and make sure that we're committed uh, to the fight uh, that it's going to take all year long uh, to play the game and to coach the game of football. But I like our, our, our staff, and I, I like our players, and uh, I like the makeup right now. And we've just got to, like I said, Game day is when you test yourself and you got to you know, come through uh, under pressure, and you've got to do it every week. What is Oregon State's defensive end though? Well, like I said, their defense uh, you know has a little bit of resemblance to Wisconsin and when what they do. They're going to change the front up a little bit here and there. They're going to slant the line, have some movement. They're going to try to be aggressive in their approach and, and, and stop the run uh, and get after the quarterback. So you know we. We've seen a lot of video and, and tape, and now it's about executing and uh, adjusting along the way if something happens different uh, and finding ways to make plays and getting positive yards. What's this camp been like relative to last year in terms of the actual day-to-day -day operation of a football program You know, during a pandemic? Is, is all of that stuff pretty much off the table now? Can you just focus on football, or is, is that still part of the day-to-day? -day? Well, you know, we're going to prepare to play the game and, and, and prepare our guys. But I mean, you know, we still wear masks in the building. Uh, there's still certain protocols that we take uh, with our football team. We try not to focus on it. Uh, does it still go on? Yes, but it's, it's for the benefit and the good of all. Uh, but we're, you know, we're meeting when we need to meet. Uh, um, you know, a few things are off limits uh, that we, we, we try to, to do to keep the building safe and clean for all. But uh, I think it's all beneficial and our guys handle it great. It doesn't affect what we have to do and how to go about preparing. Um, and then when we get outside on the practice field, we, we, we practice like we've always practiced. Just the last thing for me, can you speak to adding Samson James? Well, we're, we're happy to have uh, 
Samson James on our team. Um, you know what, uh, he's coming here and uh, he's worked hard. Um, I think him and Coach Barkley have hit it off and they understand that we're going to get him as ready to play as we possibly can. He wants to <coughs> excuse me, go out there and prove himself. Um, and, you know, if we can get him out there this year, great. Uh, if not, we'll continue to work and get him ready for the next year. But obviously the goal is to you know, use him if we can. Thank you. Hey, do we do we have anybody on the conference call that wants to ask any questions? No? Okay, thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. Good. Thanks, guys.